working? Hope so. Hey, it's Bree. Okay, that's weird. Sorry, I'm awkward. We decided to do 30 days of the carnivore diet. Um, first, I was very skeptical. Did not sound good. Didn't think I could do it. Um, but we watched a bunch of videos. A lot of people talk about how good they feel. Um, I definitely think I have or know I have some gut issues. Um, and a lot of people said it's good to almost cleanse your gut. Your gut um, and almost strip all of the crap out of it. And um, that's basically what I'm going to do. 30 days to try to wipe the slate clean and then maybe slowly do um, like an elimination diet, slowly add things and then see what's bothering me um, and kind of go from there. So I'll show you what I got um, from this one. Whole Foods. Full check. This is definitely not a uh, cheap diet, but um, health is wealth, baby. Health is wealth. So I got two packages of um, the Applegate. This is the best bacon because they don't add any sugar, um, which obviously you're not supposed to have sugar. So Applegate, I got two of those. I got some grass-fed organic beef. Uh, one of the key things with doing the carnivore diet is you have to make sure that you're also consuming enough fat because you can get protein poisoning, which obviously I don't want. So I got 85.15, um, that's all they had. So I got two of those. I also got some grass-fed fillets, um, organic grass-fed They're about four ounces each. And this is the brand I just got from Whole Foods. I got two grass-fed, same brand from Whole Foods ribeyes. A lot of people we saw were eating um, grass-fed Kerrygold butter, basically to, you know, get your fat intake because what else are you gonna do? So Kerrygold butter. I got some ghee to cook the steaks and everything in because butter doesn't really have that high smoke point, so cook everything in ghee. Then I got some raw um, grass-fed cheese. Got sharp cheddar and regular cheddar to eat on the side. And lastly, from Whole Foods, my favorite eggs, um, Battle Farms pasteurized. At first, um, when people were talking about eggs, I didn't really understand like how could there really be that big of a difference until we bought regular eggs, compared it to these, and you do taste a significant difference. Oak color or the yolk color is completely different. Um, highly recommend. I mean, these definitely aren't cheap, but worth it. So that's all I got from Whole Foods. And then if you have a will fork, Wild pork. I don't know why it was called wild pork. Wild pork near you. Highly recommend. It's all frozen, um, but they have lots of unique cuts of meat. Um, alligator, bison, veal, um, venison, elk, all that stuff. But only one, one specific thing. These um, Argentine, Argentine. Why can I not? I cannot talk today for the Lord. Um, Argentine red shrimp. They're wild caught. Um, also too, one of the main things with carnivore diet is doing, um, wild caught seafood and then grass fed meat. I mean, if you're going to do some, a diet like this, it definitely needs to be highest quality. Otherwise, not saying you can't do it, but if you're going to do it, you might as well do it to the highest ability. Um, again, not the cheapest diet, but it's only 30 days. Um, but anyway, so these shrimp taste like lobster tails. So nice and meaty, um, and they're delicious. So I got these. They come frozen, but they're really easy to, to defrost. So I got those bad boys, and uh, that's really it. So we'll see how many days this lasts. It's me and Julio, so probably not going to last more than two days, if that. But um, 
we're gonna see how I feel. We're gonna document how we feel, how much weight we lost, um, mental clarity, like all that good stuff. Definitely have a lot of inflammation and I can feel it. Um, things don't sit well, I blow up really easily. Um, energy crashed throughout the day. So we'll see. Starting right now at 212.6 pounds. Um, definitely not something I'm proud of, but it is what it is and uh, we're gonna do something about it. So I hope you guys like my part of this segment. Julio will record his and then uh, we'll mash it together for day one of the uh, carnivore diet. I'll cook up some meals and kind of show you what we eat. Meal number one, got some raw sharp cheddar, no sugar Applegate bacon, and three pasteurized organic eggs, and some good old water. Everything are the eggs was cooked in ghee, and then bacon obviously in the bacon fat. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're on the carnivore diet. So the carnivore diet is basically you just eat meat. Anything that comes from a cow, right? Or all anything. Meat. Yeah, all animals. And seafood. And seafood. Primal diet. The primal diet. Yeah, because we're liver king. And soon I'm gonna be natural like him. Yeah. So we started this diet yesterday. Today's actually the first full day of eating. Yesterday I only had dinner. Oh yeah, for me. Today is the first full day for me. She started yesterday and she's already feeling good. Uh, we both have like gut issues. We'll start to feel like bloated and stuff. And didn't feel like that yesterday after dinner. After dinner. So um, that's exciting. So right now I'm gonna get ready to go to work. But for lunch, I got some patties. And I had a uh, filet and five eggs this morning. So honestly, I'm not mad about it. So we'll keep you guys updated on how the diet is going. I don't want to make the channel primarily about the carnivore diet, but uh, I would like to share our results as the weeks go on. So, ah, oh, I should have recorded how much I weigh this morning. You think so? Okay. I'm gonna show you guys how much I weigh right now. First, I want them to take a guess before they continue with the video. Hold it out, okay? Six foot. Lift your shirt up. Can I lift my shirt up? No way. Can I do that? Really? Oh, that's embarrassing. Should I really? Should I? Crap. No, I don't want to. All right, whatever. Okay, so the boys just came back from grocery shopping for us. And as you know, we're doing the carnivore diet. So we did a little haul for the weekend. Uh, I'm thinking this is only gonna last how long? Three days? Mm, three days. Maybe, maybe three days. days. Hold on, he wants to say something. What, what's up? Yes, we told him you got it for us. Okay, let's go. Let's walk him through. Okay, I'll start, that's right. So we got some um, bone marrow to get some extra fats. We've got some shredded beef steak to do steak and eggs in the morning. We've got a bunch of ribeyes and then two strips. We've got some no sugar added bacon. We got some cheese. We got some cottage cheese. Got some grass fed butter, some beef liver. I really love these, these are expensive, but they're so good. Some mussels, some chicken thighs with the skin and some good old classic Celtic sea salt. And boom. Boom. That's what we got. And I'm throwing these out so I can have some shrimp right now for my last meal and liver. No, so let's, let's get to work. Let's eat. Good morning, guys. This is day three of the carnivore diet. And for breakfast, we picked up these beef shaved steaks. Um, so I'm eating that with five eggs three slices of monster cheese, and that's how I'm gonna get the day started. Nice, huh? Look how good that looks. With the cheese, the eggs on the bottom. And for lunch, I got three burger patties with more cheese. And then for dinner, I gotta figure it out. But um, so far, it's going pretty well. I don't feel bloated so far. Uh, I've dropped a couple LBs. So, so far, so good. We'll keep you guys updated. Um, and we got, 
He's hungry. <laughs> copyright, copyright. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so this is like the end of week one of our carnivore diet. And we did pretty good with buying a bunch of different meats and seafood. But we wanted to re up, and instead of eating beef today, we're just gonna eat seafood to just chill out on the red meat. So we came to a place called Wild Fork, and they do all frozen meat and seafoods like everything you can think of. Pretty good stuff. So we're gonna go in there, show you what it looks like. And if you have one near you, go check them out. Especially if you're doing the carnivore diet because they have everything you can possibly think of. Let's go inside. So, as you guys know, we went to Wild Fork today, and I'm going to show you what we got. This is mostly going to be for today. We already have the freezer full for dinner, like for the week. So. Okay. Okay. Octopus? Yep. Let's show them. Perfect. Got some shrimp. The best shrimp. What I told you guys earlier, that Argentine shrimp, red shrimp, tastes like lobster. Okay, then we got some mussels. Got a few of these. Some is gonna be for today, some is gonna be for the week. And then we got some more shrimp. And then more mussels. And more shrimp. Now this bag is just straight shrimp and mussels. Great seafood. Okay, here we go. So for tonight, instead of eating a ribeye or a filet like we do all week, we're gonna have Picanha. No, say how you really say it. Picanha? Oh, that's picanha. Picanha. <laughs> um, ask me what it is. No idea, but I'll tell you right now. It's Here a we top go. sirloin. Top sirloin. Only place I've ever had this was like Texas Day Brazil. And it is so good. Like this fat right here, it gets so crispy. And it's just like, it just melts in your mouth. It's like butter. Um, so we got that for dinner. And then we got more bone marrow. Put this in the oven, 450 degrees for 15, oh, 15 minutes, yep. a little salt, that's all you did. And this thing right here is game changer. It's like butter, butter. it's basically like butter. You put this on your steak or mm -hmm. anything you want and it tastes so good. And then instead of buying bone broth, right, we decided to buy some beef neck bones. And Bree's gonna set it up to just put it in a crock pot, let it sit for like a couple five, hours. Yeah, like probably all night, honestly. Yeah. And just make your own bone broth. Yeah, like five to six hours. And have that. Mm -hmm. And then I've never had bison, so got some bison here. Get away from the ground meat and try some bison. This place also has elk, ostrich, yak. Yak. I don't even know what that was. I had to look it up in the store. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm going to give that a shot next time. So that's what we got. If you guys have a wild fork near you, go in there. They have everything you could possibly think of. They separated by poultry, seafood, and then beef. And it's honestly really, really reasonable pricing. I think so. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Like this thing right here. 10 bucks, three pounds of bone broth. Eight bucks, look at all this shrimp. So, we're, we're stocking up. We're stocking up. Just to make it easier, I'm gonna have to go buy food every day. Just stock up the freezer. We'll let you know how the week goes. We're on day five. Day five. Are you gonna check? Let me check. No, it's five. Yeah, day five. 
and the fat on this boy right here, on this picanha, <laughs> is melting away <laughs> like bone broth. Wait, no, it's melting away like some bone marrow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, the, the weight dropping. I'm going to reveal after a week how much I've lost within the first week. I'm going to wait till the week. I don't even think they know how much I started. No, you told them. I did? Yeah. I said 300 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. 301 to be exact. Yeah, no, you did. So, in two more days, I'm going to do a first week, how much I've lost. Mm -hmm. And then you too. You no, no, I told them how much I weighed the first time. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, guys. This concludes week one of the carnivore diet. Now, we're sorry, okay? We're sorry. We did not do a good job on showing you what we ate. We did not do a good job on like day-to-day -day updates. But here's the weekly update. I have updates, they're just on my phone and the quality is just so far. Yeah, the quality compared to the camera to the phone, just, not as you good. probably see throughout the clip the different like mm -hmm. colors, it looks terrible. But some things to talk about weight i've dropped 12 pounds okay started at 301 ending week one at 289 yeah i started at 212 and then this morning i woke up 204. there you go so um so far so good it's gonna run for 30 days i might extend it uh for myself I go for 60 days but we're gonna just start off with 30. i will not be doing 60 days <laughs> I need a piece of fruit. <laughs> okay, well, we probably for that. Yeah, I need a piece of fruit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, even though we didn't show you, but like for breakfast, I would normally have like a ribeye with like five steaks. Five steaks? <laughs> a ribeye with five steaks. I have a ribeye with five eggs. And then for di uh, lunch, I'll normally do like burger patties. And then for dinner, I'll just keep it like chicken, seafood, or a liver. So, honestly, I've been doing the exact same thing every single day. And then. Same thing. Yeah, nice same and easy. thing. Just keep it simple, just so that I don't want to overcomplicate it. So, um, next week we'll show you guys, you know, another week progress, and then include other stuff throughout the video. I don't want to make a priority of just this. This could get boring. I uh, just want to show you what types of food do we buy, where do we buy it, just to give you guys ideas and some options that you can have to do the diet. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, like, subscribe, and until next time. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> until next time, cheers.